Oregon lawmakers are considering a bill which, if passed, would allow incarcerated criminals to vote. Earlier this month, the Senate Committee on Judiciary held a work session on Senate Bill 579. One of the sponsors has a very personal reason for supporting the bill. I will share with you, my sister was murdered when I was in high school. So I've been on the receiving end of being a victim to a very serious crime, losing your sister. But at the same time, what I've gone through is a transition of knowing what my sister valued and sense and, and a redemption for individuals. And to me, this is what I think has really hit home for me. And even though it's now been 50 years since her murder, uh, I realize that if I can make the streets safer by having people being engaged in the process and valuing their civic duties, I think that we actually get a win here because then you have someone that's actually out and exercising their rights. Democratic Senator Floyd Prozonsky is a sponsor of Senate Bill 579. A recent 3-2 vote in the Senate Judiciary Committee went along party lines, moving the bill closer to law. Senate Republican leader Tim Canote from Ben asked if it's fair to allow those found guilty of breaking the law an equal voice. So. I don't think bestowing voting rights on people who've made incredibly bad decisions like murder, rape, child molestation, you know, stealing cars, selling drugs. Do you really want people who are currently in prison voting on what their sentences should be? Currently, once felons complete their sentence, their right to vote in Oregon is restored. Senate Bill 579 would allow them to register to vote, update their voter registration, and ultimately vote while in jail, serving out their sentence. Hold them accountable, absolutely. But at the same time, we should also be, quote unquote, holding them accountable to be civic um, members of this community. And that is to exercise that particular right while they're in custody. Essentially, you're giving them the same right as their, as their victim. And in some cases, the victim is no longer alive. And so... Uh, you know, that's why I think most people, including myself, find it offensive. If the bill passes, it has the potential to restore the rights to 12,000 felons. Bill 579 is currently in the Senate Judiciary Committee awaiting a work session. If it passes, Oregon would be one of three states where inmates could vote.